Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see how to design waffle slab in ETAPS 2016. So let's start. First, we will create new model. US customary AIC 14 steel section. No need. Complete design code ACI 3814. Okay. We will go for uniform grid dispersing number of grid okay keep it four and four and spacing in x direction make it 30 in y direction 25 number of history 2 typical history height 12 and bottom history height 6 feet Then click on OK. Now we will go for material properties, add new materials, concrete 3000 psi, OK, and here is already 60 ksi grade steel or river available now go to section properties we will delete all the section which we don't need at this model add new property for column 12 by 18 3000 psi 18 12 inch modifier for column if we consider it is as cracked section we have to take 0 0.7 as a stiffness modifier okay here you can provide Clear cover. This is 1.5. This is okay. Longitudinal bar, bar grade 60 grade and tie also 60 grade. This is column rectangular. And these things we don't need to change anything because this will be designed by the program. Okay. Now click on okay. Now add copy of property C. 12 C for example C 16 or 18 by 18 ok this is a done already as we have copied the section and renamed here and edited the section click on ok now add new property or this one add copy of property beam for plane beam or grade beam 12 by 24 24 depth air for beam 35 stiffness modifier okay beam design and this is cover to longitudinal river group centroid normally we use 2.5 inch and long bar 60 grade tie bar 60 grade okay done now we will draw or columns all study like this now these columns we will change it 18 by 18 and this direction columns we will rotate in 90 degrees 
and the station we will keep same now we will draw our plane beam go to here we will modif modify the story name grade beam or plane beam and gf proof okay now we will draw our beam we will select this one quick draw beam here b 12 by 24 like this and here it was selected as all story so we will select as one story then click this one like this we will design our full slab without perimeter beam with drop so we will not draw beam in the slab level this is ground floor roof now we will go for slab definition before that we will save this model this is waffle slab okay waffle slab design click on save now define slab section modify this one w s we will design the slab thickness for our full slab here span length clear span length in long direction of slab is here we have taken 30 feet okay here with drop panel we will provide the drop panel so we will take this one exterior panel without edge beam that is ln by 33 and with s beam ln by 36 without edge beam we will choose this one ln by 33 so dividing factor as per ICA table 33 minimum depth it is coming from here 10.91 inch so provided depth for rib this is 11 inch thickness of slab we will consider 3 inch so total or overall depth for rib slab is coming 14 inch we can write ws 14 slab concrete strength 3000 psi modeling type shell thin as we will consider the slab will take the moments if we provide membrane it will not take moment okay now modifier currently default as it is one if we consider it is as cracked section we have to provide a stiffness modifier 0.25 for slab and 25 0.25 okay control c for all of this if we consider or define rigid diaphragm in the model for floors then we don't need to assign stiffness modification factor for f1 on f2 to f12 in that case it will be one for this three rows and for bending it will be 0.25 as we are not going for rigid diaphragm definition here that we will define when we will provide the lateral loads here we will just design the waffle slab so we will provide this is stiffness modification factor for all this rows okay we will see the reference in e tabs this is the SCI recommendation for a stiffness modification factor if it is cracked section in e tabs this is the consideration and here flat plates and flat slab 0.25 into 
IJ modeled as if it is modeled as membrane then F11, F22 and F12 will be 0.25 as it is not taking moment so bending will not be a factor here if it is modeled as shell then F11, F22, F12 and bending all the cells will be multiplied by 0 0.25 as a stiffness modification factor here in bracket you can see for both cases fxx that means f11 f22 and f12 is not important if rigid diaphragm is assigned as we are not going to assign rigid diaphragm so we are considering modification factor 0.25 for all of this mentioned here okay click on ok now come now come to slab type waffle overall depth will be 14 slab thickness 3 inch stem width at top here bottom width of rib if we consider 6 inch minimum should be 4 inch this ok and then top width of rib if we consider it is uh, not rectangular shape we have to maintain 1 is to 12 slope then it is coming 8 inch at the top of the rib we will consider as rectangular rib so top will be also 6 inch center to center spacing between two ribs we will consider 30 inch okay so clear spacing coming 22 for tapered rib and for rectangular it is coming 24 24 okay now here 6 inch 6 inch and this will be 24 24 okay click on okay now we will draw our slab ws14 okay now we will create 9 inch offset because we have we are having 12 by 18 inches column in the perimeter of the slab so middle from middle to edge of the column it is 9 inch so we will create offset expand shell 9 inch apply ok now we will provide drop panel so we have to calculate the drop panel dimension drop panel dimension here maximum spell length 30 feet column size 18 by 12 total slab thickness at drop drop it is coming from our design 14 inch interior for interior panels for interior panels it will come here our column is 18 by 18 so we will provide this one okay for interior panel it will be 120 inch if it is rectangular shape then this dimension will be changed for example 18 by 10, 126 120 as it is square column it will come 120 120 so define slab add new property drop three thousand psi shell thin ok drop we will take same as our total depth of rib slab 14 inch ok click on ok now we can draw our rib 
one here we have found 120 inch 120 120 draw click on this this is interior panel now we will calculate drop for S panel ok S panel for S panel our column size is 18 by 12 now type B if column is in this type in the S so the if we consider drop panel rectangular then 75 by 120 okay our column is so type b at the edges if the column direction is in vertical direction in this is a s then it will be type a now see this is perpendicular to the slab is in all the edges so we will provide type b 75 by 120 in this direction x direction it will be 120 and y direction 75 like this like this like this like this okay now we will move this here this 75 y direction 75 minus 75 that means 37 half of the 75 37.5 plus 9 plus 9 inch so it is 46 if we want to move it down so it will be 37.5 minus 9 so this is the value to be moved now this is here it is coming fit so we will change it unit means then move here 37.5 plus 9 inch 28.5 so see here this is matching with the is close now this one we will more same 28.5 like this again we will draw this side in this case it will be 75 120 like this done in this one we will move here cut this one paste here apply again move minus 28.5 yes. so our interior panel and his panel finished now we will go for corner panel corner panel there we are using same this column section okay so we will use here 60 by 66 now click on this extension 66 60 click here okay 
this side also done now we can move in different way also click here pick two more node from here to here apply okay now select this one like this done this is two this is done and from here to here now we have finished our drop panel modeling if we want to see the ribs we can see slab internal rib like this now we will apply loads okay define load pattern dead load live load already we have well, dl modify ll modify no stl super dead okay and for this one self it will be one now we will select slab section waffle apply here help per fit we need okay for SDL as floor finished we will apply 25 PSF for live load 100 PSF for considering it as a all room apply this one select apply 100 live load and dead load for partition walls you can apply 15 psa apply select this one then apply okay now we can select then assign select our floor object type floor then assign floor automation type for example one one feet done now we can go for analysis if there is wind load and earthquake load we need to consider then we can apply this loads also then we can go for rigid diaphragm and analysis then design now we are going for simple waffle slab design only for vertical loads So this is done. Now we can go for design first define load combination at default design load combination as we have selected ACI code ACI 318 14 code 
concrete frame design and slab design okay we can check the allowable deflection deflection check immediate allowable deflection for live load one inch as it is L by 360 and long term allowable deflection for here you see long term immediate all loads minus immediate intermediate immediate sustained and plus long term sustained so this uh, long term deflections check i will add the link for the tutorial you can check how to calculate or check the long term deflection for slab here i will check immediate allowable deflection for live load here it is one inch we will see how much it is coming this is for dead we will choose live apply okay here we can see maximum 0.285 inch so this is in allowable limit you need to you can check this is inch here you see inch maximum 0 0.0285 inch here allowable is one inch so okay if you want to check the long term allowable deflection for immediate all loads minus immediate sustained plus long term sustained in that case you have to assign non-linear non cracked load cases that procedure you will get following the link i have added in the description box okay now we will go for reinforcement design for before that we will add column strip left side span 30 right side 30 so strip width is coming l by 4 l by 4 left and right so unlock this one now draw or edit here at design strip gf roof grid system g1 x grid direction first we will add for this 30 30 feet 30 feet in x direction it will be 25 feet we will add 25 25 so 75 inch x direction is strip layer a okay so it will be from here if we want to draw here then we can provide 75 75 150 inch from here like this and y direction b strip layer b in that case this will be 30 feet 30 feet that will be 90 inch that means 180 apply now we can edit our strips for this one we will apply that side here left 9 inch right 75 int 9 and int right is 75 ok click on ok we can see the width arrangement show width like this so this is ok this one we will change 
start will be left side 9 right side 90 okay done same way this one left 75 right will be 9 done this one right will be 9 done so this is our column strip now we will go for middle strip if it is 30 fit then 90 90 we can draw middle strip draw design strip here strip layer will be b for y direction as the 30 feet span this one 30 feet so strip will be in this direction 90 inch 90 left 90 right at end also 90 90 this is the start this is the end if it is trapezoidal strip then start width and end width will be different as it is rectangular in shape start and left start and end width is coming same now we can we will draw by snapping the midpoint apply here to here enter here to here here it is showing column strip okay we will change it to middle strip done now the color changed you see for middle strip done for x direction strip layer a and here the span distance 25 feet so it will be 75 75 click on this here 75 75 now click on middle here middle done done this is done okay now we will design our slab run analysis Now go for design. Okay. Here we will see display design strip based strip direction A. That means X direction. Field diagram values at controlling section. It will show the values at controlling section see here at the edge top river is required here at the middle bottom it is showing failed so we need to increase the rib width and depth ok bottom this one ok here it is failed 
this one also failed let's check in layer p this okay in this direction p is okay you can see the river area for strip or number of bar for example 10 we will go for plan view here we will unselect this and select close we can fill diagram remove this one to a 12 milli here failed at top so we need to change here also top failed bottom 15 number of bar 31 we can select for bottom the bottom 31 12 number of bar so here it is kind of 5 number of 12 if we choose it 14 milli then at bottom 23 we can select here 23 Four number of 12 bar at the bottom of rib in this way we can this is not 12 this is 14 the bottom 14 in this way you can check the required river diameter and number and we can provide here to see in the detail as at the top panel top it is failing we can change the rib and slab thickness okay now go to define define slab section often we will change it to 16 16 this one 4 we will make it 8 8 and is facing keep it 30 30 and drop will also be 16 okay now run the analysis okay design now it is passing here you see here is top there is no failed marking this 43 number of 42 number of top 14 diameter bar you can check here for drop panel top 14 here 42 so it is coming 3 in C center to center distance so provide 3 in center to center for top of the drop panel okay middle slab both way if the concrete stands 3000 psi still river strength 60,000 clear cover 0.75 means and diameter bar if it is 6 millimeter dia so the bar is facing coming 11 in C center to center this is for minimum slab river here now for our rib top 
5 number of 14 we are getting here also here 10 number of 14 bar tile so we can go for rip bottom we will check rip top 14 here we are getting 10 number so better we will check with 12 milli dial for rip top select 12 apply here 14 12 so this one will select 12 and here it will take 14 so minimum we need two number of bar here at top so it is not crossing this number 2 so it is showing 2 number 12 for example if we need 28 here or this is 16 so 32 or more than 32 48 it will show 3 more than 2 it will show 3 or 64 like it will come 4 so we will provide at top 12 millimeter diaper two nodes for bottom we will check with 14 millimeter dia bar and bottom 21 here at 21 maximum we will take 21 for bottom 21 so here it is showing 3 we will provide 4 number of 14 dia bar ok and any other balance for a drop panel this is a drop panel a drop panel bottom this excel sheet you will get in the this excel sheet link you will get in the description below the tutorial diameter bar select same like 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter for the bottom and it will show how much it is showing we will see at the rib bottom bottom it is showing 8 it is showing 10, 10 number of bar we will check with 10 it is showing 8 millimeter border at 12 we will see center to center here I have fixed this minimum we will provide 12 in C center to center we will not provide more than 12 inch center to center in spacing so that's why it is coming maximum 12 here I have provided this if it is less than 12 then it will show that less inch for example if I provide here 20 it will come bar spacing 7.5 then it will show 7 inch center to center okay so in this way we can design our waffle slab section thanks for watching stay tuned for more important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update